Welcome everyone! In this video I will briefly explain to you about the law of sines and the law of cosines and their usage and then I will work on one problem that includes both laws. So first we need to understand when do we use the law of sines and the law of cosines. Well, it is when we don't have that 90 degree angle, the right triangle. When we are given a triangle ABC the capital letters are used to denote angles and the lowercase letters are the side lengths. As we can see on this figure, for the angle A, the opposite of it is the side A. For the angle B, the opposite of it is side B. And for the angle C, the opposite of it is side C. I have imagined them as pairs and that helped with remembering the law of sines. The law of sines states that the ratio of side A over its opposite angle A equals to the ratio of side B over its opposite angle B and that equals to the ratio of side C over its opposite angle C. So we only use two of the three ratios in order to find the missing quantity. Regarding the law of cosines, when do we use this law? We have to use this law when we are only given three sides. So side, side, side and nothing else or side, angle, side when the angle is in between the sides. In these types of problems, we can't use the law of sines because we'll have too many unknowns. So here are the formulas for the law of cosines. By knowing one of the formulas, we will know all of them. Let's say we look at the first one. As I mentioned earlier that I remember the angles and sides as as pairs, we can do relation to the pairs here too. You can see, for example, in the first equation, we have at the beginning, at the end, at the end, side C and angle C. So this is one pair as I circled here on the image, on the on the figure. So and in the middle we have AB and AB here. It is the same for the other two formulas. So the pair side B, angle B, and AC in the middle. Same here, side A, angle A, and BC in the middle. Now let's go with the example that I have here, which includes both laws. For the triangle shown below, what is the angle A? This is how I will approach this problem. First, using the law of cosines, I will find the side length here and then using the law of sines I will find the angle A. So here we have a side A which equals to 12 centimeters, side B that equals to 6 centimeters and angle of 53 degrees on which I will designate letter C and that means that we have a side C here. Let me write the values first. So A equals to 12 centimeters, B equals to 6 centimeters, and angle C of 53 degrees. Designating the side opposite the angle of 53 degrees as C, I will use the law of cosines to find the side length C. So C squared equals to A squared plus B squared minus 2 times A times B cosine C. So C squared equals to 12 squared plus 6 squared minus 2 times 12 times 6 times cosine of 53. Now if we plug this everything in our calculator making sure that we use degrees we'll get a value of 9.66 centimeters. Now when I have the side C, I will use the law of sines to find the angle A. So C over sine C 
equals to a over sine a. Because I need to find the angle a, I will transfer sine a to the other side. So I have sine a equals to a times sine c over c. So sine a equals to 12 times sine of 53 over 9.66. So if I calculate this, I will get a value of sine a of 0 0.9921. So to get the angle A, we have the inverse of the sine. So the angle A equals to 82.8 degrees. So that's it for this lesson and thanks for watching.